Sit back and throw one back with your pinky in the air and a middle finger to the world. And join me, the eclectic gentleman, Stephen Watts, as we look back on this day in pro wrestling history. But before we do, put that drink down, like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get our wrestling history on. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is August 4th, and we're going to start off as we always do on a positive note. That's right, these are your pro wrestling birthdays. 1932, a not often spoken about legend, Tiger Conway. 1960, the man of a thousand holds, the shooter, Dean Malenko. 1966, Japanese legend, Kintsuki Sasaki. And last but not least, 1977, one part of SoCal Uncensored, Frankie Kazarian. And we're going to keep that positivity train a-rolling. That's right, these are your pro wrestling history highlights for August 4th. A super short trip in the Wayback Machine today, as we start in 1966. Fritz Von Erich defeats Johnny Valentine in Fort Worth, Texas to win the NWA American Heavyweight title for a second time. Leaping a decade to 1976, Seiji Sagagachi and Strong Kobayashi defeat Tiger Jet and Gama Singh to win the National Wrestling Federation Asian Tag Team titles in Tokyo, Japan. Grabbing my boombox and going to the 80s, 1983. Tsunami Fujinami defeats Riki Choshu via countout to win the WWF International Heavyweight title in Tokyo, Japan. The next year in 1984, the Super Medics 1 and 3 defeat the Invaders 1 and 3 in San Juan, Puerto Rico for the WWC World Tag Team titles. Our final stop in the 80s, 1989. Cactus Jack and Scott Braddock defeat Jeff Jarrett and Matt Bourne for the World Class Wrestling Association World Tag Team Championships in Dallas, Texas. The belts would soon become the USWA Tag Team Championships. And last but not least, 1997, at a WCW Monday Night Nitro, Lex Luger defeats Hulk Hogan for the WCW World Heavyweight title. Those were your super short, but sweet, pro wrestling history highlights for August 4th. I'm the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and we'll see you tomorrow.